I am the toy box killer who was responsible for a series of abductions, tortures, and sexual assaults that horrified the nation. My name is David Parker Ray. From the late 1980s to the early 1990s, I turned a trailer in New Mexico into a nightmarish chamber of pain, which I called my toy box. Within those walls, I held innocent women captive, subjecting them to unimaginable horrors. But what compelled me to commit such heinous acts? Let's explore the psychological underpinnings behind my actions. Psychiatrists and investigators who examined my case diagnosed me with various psychological conditions. One notable diagnosis was sadism, which refers to deriving pleasure from inflicting pain upon others. It was a key element in my deviant desires and fueled the sadistic fantasies that played out in my toy box. Additionally, experts noted that I exhibited signs of psychopathy, characterized by a lack of empathy, remorse, and a distorted sense of self. These traits enabled me to view my victims as mere objects for my sadistic pleasure, devoid of their humanity. Another significant aspect of my psychological profile was narcissism. I possessed an inflated sense of self-importance, believing that I had the power and control to manipulate and dominate others. This narcissistic grandiosity fueled my desire to exert dominance and control over my victims, perpetuating my sadistic fantasies. It's essential to understand that my actions were not born out of a single cause, but rather a complex interplay of various psychological factors. The combination of sadism, psychopathy and narcissism allowed me to detach from empathy, enabling my monstrous acts without remorse or guilt and leading to the creation of my toy box. Despite efforts to comprehend and rehabilitate me, my darkness prevailed. I was a predator driven by my twisted desires, unable to escape the depths of my own depravity. So, dear viewers, as we conclude this unsettling journey into my mind, remember that even the most seemingly ordinary individuals can harbor the darkest of secrets. Perhaps by understanding the psychological complexities behind such acts, we can strive to prevent the emergence of future monsters.